All right, let's do this. Woo. Got a decent start here. Um, I'm gonna take pretty much everything here. Roll. Ooh, okay. A dagger is interesting, actually, because I can turn that to a molten dagger, and a molten dagger can be a pretty, pretty good source of early game DPS. I was going to turn this into a torch for a flaming torch, um, but I could maybe even just rock. I could sell the broom and just rock flaming torch with molten dagger, and that could probably carry me for like a good few little rounds, right? Um, potentially. Uh, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. I think that's what we're gonna do. Get well. Yeah, get rid of the, well, damn. Oh, uh, four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven. Okay, get rid of the broom. We're gonna get the banana and we're gonna get the dagger. That way we can get a molten dagger and we're gonna torch in the exact same round. Put both of these in the middle, just like that. Uh, and then we're gonna need this extra sword. And yeah, I think that's a pretty solid start. Um, should beat this guy. We got double DPS. They have single, not to mention we have the whetstone. Um, and that's pretty much all we're gonna need, realistically. Like, yeah, <laughs> as you can see, that's pretty much all we need, so. That's a good game. Oh, wow. A chili already, which is actually good since we do have the Molten Dagger, which is going to help us out even more. We just need space, realistically. That's what we really need right now. Um, we only got eight gold, though. I need I need, I need, need 10. I need 10 gold, realistically. Let's see here, because I want to get a combination, right? I want to use Wooden Sword and Shiny Shell to get a combination, but Molten Dagger feeds off of heat, and we only got one heat, right? So it's probably better just to get this Chili Pepper. That's probably going to be like the definite win. And then we could get the Shiny Egg, uh, and then we could just pick that up too. But yeah, get the Shiny Egg, just so we can uh, get a little bit more healing. Um, but that should be good as far as DPS goes, realistically. I could have honestly sold this Whetstone, and that would have probably done it for me, just selling the whetstone, because I don't really need it anymore since uh, the weapons have like, in, in the weapons have infinite DPS by themselves, right? Because you have this guy, which is a 35% chance to gain one damage. This guy gains damage when it uses up heat. We really don't need the whetstone anymore, so I could have sold it last round and got myself a combination this round. But yeah, it's fine. We got some space. We got the sword. Let's roll for a banana, which is great. I wish I could sell you for three gold, because I would definitely do that to get that banana, because we're going to need the extra stamina. Um, actually, no, we're not going to need extra stamina because uh, we don't have a spell totem yet. I thought we were going to need extra stamina. But yeah, we should be fine. I do need one more sword, though, so I need to fish for that early, as early as I can, because that's super duper important. Going against Poison Bill with a shovel. <clears throat> um, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to win this one. Uh, it looks like we are because of Molten Dagger. But I'm telling you guys, Molten Dagger early is really good on Pyromancer. Really, really good. Um, we got eight gold. Got ourselves a spell totem. We're gonna need this because this guy eats up stamina. Um, probably should get a fanny pack here and roll for this guy. Damn, getting that early is insane. If it was on sale, I'd get it, but it's, it's really not gonna benefit us that much other than the, the 4% sale chance, but like, I don't really care about the 4% sale chance, honestly, so I'm just gonna pass both that. Um, you know, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and sell you just so I can get this and get it out of the shop. That way I can get five chances next round versus just getting one. Because we're just going to be rocking this for DPS. Um, and we're just going to hopefully we can get ourselves the Prismatic Sword. Because that's what we're really, really betting on right now is the Prismatic Sword. Um, probably potentially get more bananas. Maybe one more banana. Maybe some more chilies would also be great. Space is good. We don't really need any of these. They're not super duper needed. Getting a Blood Amulet is kind of super duper needed though um so we're definitely gonna be getting that should i roll here how much gold am i getting 10 14 i'm gonna roll uh yeah i'll get it i'll get it i'll get the fanny pack just to do that a little bit more speed we'll have enough gold to get that next round and then we can also just roll one time so that'll be good um biggest threat here would probably just be the tuscan poker just because of spikes but they also got healing which is also a problem but that spikes is gonna hurt us so much as long as our dps is up like our molten dagger is hitting for 20 damage right now 17 yeah okay molten dagger is carrying Ooh, getting a phoenix getting this phoenix early it's actually kind of nice i'm not gonna lie um 11 go next round we're gonna get it next round i'm gonna buy this this round but we're gonna get this phoenix next round it's a huge purchase but it could probably benefit us in these uh in these early games i think we need a lot more space by the way we need a lot more space so we need to start fishing for that um got ourselves a shovel and a broom i think we win this even with the 
Yeah, we definitely win this. Even with the, the blind here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Good game. Okay, let's see what we got here. A fencing fencing rapier? Nah, I'm not going to buy it because I'm just going to end up selling it later. Even though I could really replace it with both of my weapons. Because it has the infinite DPS uh, damage. I don't know. I think I'm just not going to get it. Um, I do want to get this Phoenix, though. The only issue is we, not, we don't really have space for it. To be fair, but it would help us out so much, I think. What is this? The seventh round? So next round is the round. Okay, yeah, we need to get this this round. Um, okay, yeah, let's just sell this and buy it. Because we're gonna we're we're gonna need it anyways. If you know it takes up so much space. Maybe I can move it up by one. And uh maybe not. <laughs> to fit more like items inside of here. Nah, I'm just gonna keep it here. And then uh do my little chili situation sub that we had before. Uh, we also need a holy armor, but bro, we have no space. We have no space, not to mention we're getting the Dark Lantern next round. Like, can we really afford to get this now? I don't I don't think so. I don't think we can afford to get it now. We're going to see it later. Hopefully, we're going to see it later, but I don't, I don't think we get it now. Especially since we don't even have the Corrupted Crystal in the first place, right? So definitely don't get that now. Um, ooh, Berser If we can survive Berserker mode, I think we win. Hopefully. Come on, need some big hits here. Oh, no, we lose. We lose. Oh, so close. We even came out the life there. So close. Good game, though. Good game. All right, let me get you. Oh, I got this on sale. That's good. I'm going to get this, too. Oh, my God. I really need space. No. 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 Finally got space. I need to sell these two. I'm selling these two. Getting some bits. Getting some space. Um. So, Dark Lantern needs to be on the field. It also needs to be next to fire items. We need Draconic Orb on the field, and we also need the customer card on the field. How are we going to set all of this up? I've got no idea. I think this goes here. Um, We could probably fit this guy like so. I'm just going to use the fanny pack here just for the sake of spacing it. Um, I Honestly, we could utilize Burning Torch down here. The weapons, since those are fire items, we can utilize them like so. That needs to be used too. Um, that can go up there. I guess the last things that's important would be the shell totem. I'm sad I haven't found any more shells because I'd rather just not take up 0.7 stamina cost. You know what I mean? I would love to find some more shells, or at least holy items, because they just need to be holy items. But still not finding any kind of sucks then again we aren't really using stamina except for the burning torch both of these weapons don't use stamina which is good for us right um i guess we'll put you like that customer card goes there okay i mean we got double we got double uh reincarnation which is going to be what uh 20 damage so it's going to be 40 damage when they both reincarnate not to mention the damage that we just have from phoenix and everything like that so hopefully we're we're okay hopefully we're okay going against a spikes build is sucky not to mention he's got the blueberry for his friendly fiend spikes is going to eat us alive jacuna orb is not going to be able to save us here i don't think but we're going to reincarnate first time there which is nice then we got a second reincarnation which should just kill him if he, he just doesn't die which is great for us so yeah good game on there um i'm gonna pick up one blueberry only one we do need space so might as well get that Okay, there goes the Corrupted Crystal that we need, which is great. We also got ourselves a Cap of Resilience, which is pretty solid too. I'm really looking for that orb to turn this, right? That's why I keep like looking at this customer card, because honestly, that could help. Um, I say I do it. I say I sell both of these, get the customer card, and be happy. <laughs> like That's all I can do. Um, And then we could probably do that, just so that... Uh, this would be better, no? Unless I did maybe something like this. That way they're both touching two. Everything's touching two, which is good. I don't want the platinum customer card. I just want the regular one. Getting both of these next round is pretty solid. That'll be our first corrupted item. Ooh, you already got the Staff of Unhealing? And you already got like health potions and everything? I don't know why you have... The I guess the totems for the healing. Look for eight interesting i've never seen an unhealing build yet with the totems this is really interesting though because the totems the unhealing staff doesn't use stamina 
and the healing of the totems can just be good and we lose crazy build interesting though i like it that's really cool all right let me get let me get this okay and i have enough money for that we're gonna replace you like so and then i guess we'll just replace this with that get some space okay okay give me an orb though we got four lives and i got four lives to give me an orb probably gonna lose this one freaking chain whip no vampirism no heat generation molten dagger is gonna stay sad and lonely at least we're putting on some type of you know debuffs but still we're definitely gonna be losing to the sky <laughs> freaking chain whip uh okay okay we got it boom that's massive that's actually massive um what do we do here i guess we could just sit the burning torch out or even sell it because we can keep the molten dagger in we can keep the fire phoenix in they don't use up stamina i can't put this sword in because we're not gonna have enough stamina right so i think we just sell this probably sell two heat since we you know got a little bit more money um now we could put you sword into here honestly sword can just go there fire item goes there the biggest things is probably oh forgot this is a uh, holy item hmm Maybe we move this up here instead? Do a little situation like that? And then we'll, at least we get the inflicted damage and then the uh, the, the gaining region. The Holy Iron would increase my healing by five though. Hmm. I mean, I could do that. Versus the Corrupted, because that's only one debuff that's doing right. So maybe that's better. And then I'll do boom, 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 and then boom. That way I still got my uh, dark item here. That's going to be the 5% increase in healing. Which, I mean, we heal from all this food. Well, those three items of food, right? That's really the only healing that we have. And I guess, you know, blood amulet with molten dagger and wooden sword. I doubt we'll win because it is a wooden sword at the end of the day. But next round, we're going to be popping off. And we're going against a magic staff with a mana orb and four blueberries, which is insane. So yeah, we're definitely losing this, I think. Come back, didn't put any debuffs, barely any debuffs, and now he's critting us for so much damage. Yeah, that's fine though, because we got a combination, which is great. Let me get this Fanny roll. I don't really need another Draconic Orb, I don't think. This is something I do need, however. The uh, Holy Armor, because then I could turn that into a Dark Armor. But I need more shells, bro. I have like no shells. What do you sell for, three? I could sell you. and a heat for this holy armor i think would be a solid play and then we can utilize all of our uh all of our fanny packs here do something like this um probably should move this up by one like this and then boom boom fire item there and then we just fill this guy up with fire items down here well, honestly, we could probably just do this. You know what I mean? Like, this is probably way better. Um, And then uh, this goes here. All right, fire item, fire items there. Right, Um, and then we'll go holy item here. Vampiric item here. Corrupted item. Vampiric item. Okay. All right. Um, okay. And then we need the holy art. The holy art needs to probably go right here instead. That way it's getting the combination and so acting as a holy item. And then this can just go right there. Nice. Very, very nice. Um, now it's just a problem of the food items, I think. Not to mention a cap of Rezil. I mean, we're at a 1.3 stam. We're gonna need stamina though. I'm probably gonna sell this shell totem since I don't have any shells, right? Having shells will make this so much better because it's eating up so much stamina that the prismatic sword is gonna need instead, right? Unless I can find some shells, which I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find some shells, right? I think that's a little bit better. Man, I need this heat though. Nope, that doesn't fix it. That does. Okay, awesome. So I can put my heat there. Um. And I guess I could do this. And the customer cars can still go somewhere. Okay, that's not that's not looking too bad. That's not looking too bad. 
Going against the Staff of Fire with a Burning Banner. Chili Gooby, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Hitting me for 50 damage. Boom, come back to life though. With all of those, uh, all of those debuffs. And we're gonna come back to life again with all those debuffs. Boom, and then he's dead. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Give me you, you. I'm looking at the I'm looking at that banana on sale. I low-key do want it, honestly. Um, this needs to turn. But the only reason I want it is for stamina. <laughs> Cause this guy's eating up so much. I'm gonna get it. Cause I could just sell it. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna sell it. Cause we need this current crystal. Um, let's change this out. Move this down and then do this. Yeah, and then that goes there. Um, this will go there. So then that's now a dark item as well. And then we're going to sell. Honestly, I'm gonna just sell the customer card. I'm gonna sell both of them. And then that goes there. So now we're full blown on corrupted items. Um, we could put you right there for that. And then these can really just go anywhere. Uh, can I set this banana up a little bit differently? Yeah, I can. Boom, boom, magic item. Okay. All right, this is looking good. We need more shells. We need more shells. And that's it. That's all we need. All we need is more shells. And uh, yeah, if I get, oh, wow, okay. Thank you, game. Give me that too. Mr. Fanny Pack. Should I take this coal? I'm looking at the coal. Maybe I should take the coal. Maybe. I don't know. Nah. I'll pass on the coal. I don't need it. I don't need it. Are you insta procking? No, you're not insta procking. That is a good thing for me that you're not insta procking. But you do have a shield, and that's annoying. Especially my stamina. Oh, look at those debuffs, bro. Rip your rip your accuracy, but you are, you are, yeah, you are, you are a rapier. You are indeed a rapier. Damn. Way to go for the rapier. <laughs> it was a rapier at the end of the day, right? Oh, I need that. There's no way we pass that up right now. There is no freaking way. Let's change that into that. I mean, I guess I could still do that, but that still works in acting as a dark item, right? Um... All the, you know, well, I guess I could do this, this, and sell that along with two heat to buy this guy. Whoa. That makes the game so much better. Or should I put it over here? Nah, definitely keep it over here. But yeah, so now that's all dark items. And then we have five dark items and three holy items and a little bit of life steal. And then the magic item on top of that, which I could put another magic item in here. I could do boom, magic item, and then boom, like that. So then that's an, that's an additional magic item. Um, That's way better. Um, Yeah, that's looking good. That's, yeah, this is, that's looking good. Oh, I see this build. I've seen this build before. Utilizing the dragons and then the the totems for the empowerment gain and then the dragons for the healing I don't know how well it's gonna do against debuffs though Come on, we're gonna die again, but that's fine because we're gonna come back to life And be even better and stronger. Oh, we're not gonna die again because he's got fucking 24 blind on him and the dragons have 25% accuracy and all that empowerment going down the drain no healing no nothing no healing, no nothing. Boom. Another corrupted crystal. Do I need it though? I mean, not really, right? Because the only, well, I guess I could get a corrupted helmet. <laughs> I, you know, I guess there's my benefit. A corrupted helmet, I suppose. That's really the only benefit though, a corrupted helmet. I mean, I might as well, like, you know. It doesn't hurt me at the end of the day to get a corrupted helmet, right? So I might as well get it. Um, what amulet could I possibly want right now? Maybe the one hundred percent faster. I wish they had a debuff uh, amulet. A debuff amulet would be crazy, and then the amulet of life would be kind of solid. A debuff amulet would be crazy though. But nah, I'm not gonna get that for six gold. Yeah, I, I don't think there's anything else I would want, except just 
your regular degular items that help Ooh, freaking dog build bro no dog build not good come on debuffs 25 blind what's your accuracy zero percent accuracy zero percent accuracy you can't do damage to me you're missing but you still can't do damage to me let's go 60 critical at the end there insane come back to life one time and it's over with boom got my cap of discomf um i'm looking at this blood amulet which i can replace with that Nance. so boom that's looking better this is what i was looking for and we got another prismatic orb okay we need both of these i don't know where to put them but we're gonna have to figure it out because i need that 20 percent faster for the prismatic sword which i don't know where to put it but i'm gonna need it um and then another prismatic orb is pretty solid i can replace the blueberry with that that'll just be better don't have enough money to get either one of those so <laughs> not gonna get it this round but we're getting 15 not even 19 but we need 22. we could probably sell some heat yeah we'll sell some heat for it i think probably and getting another stamina sack would probably be good too i think oh what are we infinite vampirism oh yeah definitely infinite vampirism which means infinite dps and infinite healing for uh the mana thirst i mean not the mana thirst the hungry blades i don't know i don't know how well this is i mean he doesn't have clovers though he's not gonna have accuracy so as soon as we just stack on his blind it's game over because he's not gonna have accuracy with all that clover so your vampirism doesn't matter if you can't hit me if you can't hit me it don't matter right if you can't hit me it doesn't matter um okay so let's let's buy this first so we can figure out where to actually put you 3339 perfect kind of yeah, it'll be perfect it'll be perfect i can easily yeah boom there 40. um we got eight we need 12. do i want to sell that much heat i actually don't know i want to sell that much heat do i sell a banana i don't know if i sell a banana i kind of need those how about we sell two heat and one banana? Why? I could just sell two more heat, fuck it. I'm selling two more heat instead. All right, prismatic orb. Where are you going to go? What is that? Four stars. I'll put you here. And let's see. 39. So I was looking at that star slot right there, which I can put for vampirism. And then that's still like a 44. Okay. So we have a 10% increase in healing. That's the biggest thing when it comes to the prismatic orbs, I think. It's just that increase in healing. Honestly. And then this gives me another 10% increase in healing. It would probably be smart to stack the prismatic orbs though, right? Like have both prismatic orbs touch each other. That's probably way better because they give one of each when I do that. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, that's way better. Okay. Awesome. 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 Um, and then I can just move this down there and that works on that. All right, cool. This looks good to me. Um, honestly, should I? Because we had a 60% chance right now to inflict three debuffs because of this corrupted crystal should i switch this corrupted crystal out with the blood ammo instead to get that extra 15 percent life steal so we're getting an extra 15 percent life steal but we're losing 10 percent chance i mean it's still like the difference between 50 percent and six percent is so small it's it's there but like i think i'd rather have 45 percent life steal instead of 30 percent life steal you know what i mean no wait it's not 30 60 percent instead of 45 percent life steal I think I'd rather half at the end of the day. So I'm taking that as that. Um, is there anything else I can do to improve this? I'm looking at this capital discomfort right now. And I'm like, I could probably move it somewhere else. Like here instead. So it gets affected by that. Right? So that's even more debuffs. So that's five debuffs there five debuffs there so we're starting off with 10 debuffs inflicted not to mention the healing of both you know what i mean and then the healing of this so our healing is crazy our debuffs are crazy everything is just perfect oh 
Interesting. I have not seen... I have not seen a build like this before. Mighty interesting. I guess he's just going for attack speed, life so I mean, he's got attack speed, life so damage. He's got three chilies plus a chili guru, not to mention a burning banner. So his survivability is going to be there. He should have probably turned this, but his survivability is going to be there and his speed is going to be there as well. He's got the oil lamp on it. I think his placement could be better, but I kind of see, I, I kind of see what he's going for here. But I think his placement could probably be like, you know, a, a decent, you know, a little bit better. Both of his freaking crowns already proc, which is crazy. He's got 11 blind on him. What's the accuracy on this thing? 95? To be fair, he is generating luck. Oh, what's making me crit? Oh, I think the guy was critting like that. Dracunica Orb. I need some more of those. Oh, I'm running out of stamina. And he's got his healing. Come on, no. Okay, we win. <laughs> that was actually crazy. I wasn't expecting a crit like that. I forgot Dracunica Orb makes your, your other three hits crit. Interesting. Pretty solid, though. A little bit scary because of the heat generation and the uh, the healing and everything that you get from this build. A little scary, but still pretty, pretty cool. I like that. And he had double burning band. I just double glowing crowns to combat the blind is nutty. So we got an oil lamp on sale. But that will also mean I'd have... Well, can I move this? Down? Nah. I was going to say, can I move this down by one? No, nah, that's not. Nah, I think we just pass on this oil lamp, even though it's on sale. It would be good for the accuracy. Like, that's the biggest thing is the accuracy, I think. But there's like nowhere I can realistically put it. Unless I were to sacrifice one of these blood amulets or sacrifice a shell totem. Because, like, every three seconds, I gain one damage. Every three seconds for this guy, I gain 0.6 damage for each holy item. So, technically speaking, the lamp would be better than the shell totem in that specific spot. But the shell totem is affected by the corrupted armor, which turns holy items to dark items, which means not only is this giving me the extra damage increase, but it's also giving me that... Uh, that extra chance of inflicting a debuff, so it's probably not worth it. But that accuracy would be nice, to be fair. But yeah, I don't think there's anything I could do about it. That accuracy would be nice, though. Um, let's see. Do I need this? Actually, I could put the corrupted crystal on the freaking uh, weapon itself. Yeah, we could do that. Um. Probably not going to buy anything big, so I'm not going to get the stamina stack. I kind of just want to roll. Mana orb, huh? Will you ever proc? I highly doubt it. Oh, I should probably fish for another Dracunic orb, though. If possible. Ah, okay. Do I have enough to get it? Uh, We did run into stamina issues last round. Interesting. I just realized this prismatic orb counts on the shell totem. I was like, if I move this up by one, that's eh, probably not worth it though. Um, I kind of do want to get this Jukunic orb though. But we need six freaking gold. I can't sell the heat because I'm going to need it to get to the 15th threshold. I can't sell the bananas because we need it for stamina. Four, five, six. Nah, that's probably not worth it. It's probably not worth it, man. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get it, I don't think. There's nothing I can sell to to make it worth actually getting. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing I can do, I don't think. I don't think there's anything I could do there. Oh, well. Oh, interesting. I have not seen a Spike Staff in a while. Spike Staff looks like a bunch of... Well, he doesn't have the totem. The Poison Dagger? Pretty sure we're going to win this. This <laughs> is... 
Interesting though, to be fair. Interesting. This should be a landslide. Imagine we lose at them talking trash. No way though, right? We're I mean we're losing so far. I mean so far though, hey, eh? we're catching up, we're catching up. 46, 42, 40. Yep. Yep. Boom. Game. What a freaking build. When you get this build going, bro, it's it's crazy, man. It's freaking crazy. Utilizing the corrupted crystal along with the shells in order to turn the shells into dark items and holy items and combining that with the prismatic sword is just so it's just so good. It's just so good, especially if you manage to get yourself a prismatic orb, putting that next to the sword and then combining it with dark lantern for the dark items, bro. You just get a lot of debuffs. And then this thing gets a lot of just two, four, four, fives, bro. And it's just good. It's just a good item. You know what I mean? It's just a good item. And then you got the you got cat making it 20% faster and everything. It's just great. And then double reincarnation with Phoenix plus Dark Lantern. You know, it's just it's just a good build. It's just a good build. That was fun. That was fun. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.